Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. My name is Eric. This is Rome. We're back with some more Diablo 4, the beta. Uh, this is the second beta weekend. I just simply did not have time to get into the first one. Uh, the game comes out, I believe, uh, let's see, April, May, June 6th, maybe? 6-6, six, six, appropriately enough, I'm sure, on purpose. Um, yeah, can we do any of this stuff yet? No. Uh, we uh, we played a little bit last time. We're going to continue on. Our next co uh, quest here is to accompany Lorith to uh, Kiovashad. So we shall do that. Empty bottles. Okay. Interesting. We're just about to get a level. I'm just kind of wandering around here, picking up the loot. I do like to explore, and this is one of those games that that rewards said explore, exploration. We, there's going to be some crafting in this. Um, we found some... Uh, Resources we can pick up here. There we go. Um, uh, it also says that we can unlock uh, looks for our gear based on salvaging it. So that I mean, I assume that means we're going to be able to salvage stuff at some point. Um, you can see it doesn't give me that option at the moment, uh, but I'm sure we're going to come up with like a crafting spot maybe where we can do salvaging. So if you don't want to sell something. Um, but maybe you're doing some crafting and you need some components, maybe? I mean, who knows? All right, and we're just gonna- oh, a demon's heart. I don't know what that does for us, but I'm assuming, again, it's a crafting item. Um, iron chunks, okay. Let's, uh, let's climb up here. Let's see what we get. We are doing a rogue build. Uh, in fact, we've gone exclusively cutthroat so far with our skills. Um, I don't know that that's going to matter or not, but at the moment, that's what I got. Uh, okay, we don't need... Uh, well, we may as well drink a potion and grab that one. No reason to run around short, even if it's... Uh, even if it's not very much. Get some more ore chunks there. All right, I do a lot of exploration. You're gonna have to live with some of that, I'm sorry. I am not actively going after every single section, um, but I am grabbing, but if it's on my way, I'm, I'm getting it. So uh, you're just gonna have to, to live with it. It looks like we're out of space here. We've got a couple sets of boots. These are 36 armor fire resistance. This is 38 armor lightning resistance. I'll go for that for now. Um, I don't know if this is going to expand as we go, or if it's just going to tell us we're out of room. Um, we'll find out as we go. We're just about another level, which is nice. We'll talk about the skill trees at that point. I am playing on a controller, um, because I happen to like controller games. Uh, I don't play enough of them. Uh, and so we're going we're gonna to controller this one for a little... No, I said we weren't going to go out of our way to do stuff. Try to, I'll try to stick to that. Uh, there's a map, you can see. Yeah, that just goes back into the area we've already explored. Oh, wait, so that's good. I don't feel so bad now. Bunch of dudes over there. I'm going to ignore them for the moment. Go over here and grab some stuff here. There's our level. Blade Militiaman. Okay, so just some pants. Oh, there's something over there. Um, so we've got, whoops, hold on. Uh, we've got consumables in theory, we've got quests, we've got aspects. I don't know what any of that stuff is at the moment. Um, we do have our level here. So we've been working our way. We've grabbed these. We need to grab two of those to be able to move on. Um, we can come up here and then grab each of these. This is going to bring up our regeneration, uh, but we haven't had a problem with that yet. So I'm going to kind of live with it. Um, this is our main kind of attack at the moment. We do also have this, and we took it because it leads to this, siphoning strike, so we can get a little bit of uh, siphoning going on when we uh, when we hit a crit. Um, I'm going to run down here, and we're going to see what that item is over there, or that uh, location is. But we'll keep... Uh, We'll keep looting and salvaging and crafting as we go. Uh, 
this is my first look at it. I've I've I have seen some videos that uh talk about builds and stuff, but I I have sorry. I've seen that they exist, but I haven't played them yet. Guess we should have gone fire resistance, huh? Um so I've I've kind of avoided a lot of this stuff. Uh this was a game I knew I was going to play regardless, right? I mean that's just all there was to it. So um I didn't need to see anything else, right? So we're we're going in this more or less blind as far as the overall. You know. Survive the ambush. I like some of these little mini items we've had. We have shrines, we have this here, which I guess is similar. That it? There more coming? I, oh, there's a timer right there. Oh, he did a nice little stun on him. Very cool. I'm going to drink a potion since we got some more on the ground here. These are our abilities. Oh, things are heating up. Oh, we got this guy up here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get up here. He's resummoning. Six more seconds. Pop a potion. All right, so the first bit's done. We just need to kill everybody else now. Did we do so? Oh, there's still an enemy left. Nice. Okay, let's interact with that. I think she died, so I don't know if we successfully did that or not. Oh, we got these obols. Oh, okay, we got something that unlocks getting more obols, I guess, earlier as a challenge. Okay, that answers that question there. So now we know... Um, there's some sorting, and I don't know how it sorts. Um, but we can look at value. That seems to be pretty cheap. Nine, seven, four. Well, I think we can drop that. Can we just drop it? And the game crashed. All right. Uh, drop. Dropping item as junk. Now, I don't know, again, we've got these rolling restarts and they have been happening a lot because the way that they free up performance is they just kick everybody off the server. And then imagine that the servers run better. Uh, it appears to be a common thing today. I don't know that these are actual crashes um, of the game or just the rolling restarts. Um, hey, Reese, how you doing, man? Um, I don't know if you're in the, here, the video challenge. Um, yeah, it's still good. Got Reese K40 there in Discord hanging out with me a little bit, talking. Uh, at least typing. Uh, we'll see if he hops into to audio if he wants. Um, let me share the screen again for him because we just lost it when it went down. Uh, I was telling him, I'm not sure if it's uh, or the rolling restarts. So we'll see. Uh, I've had queues form anywhere from one to about 39 minutes to get back into the game as this has happened. This is probably the fifth or sixth time uh, that the game has gone down for one reason or another. Uh, but it is what it is. Getting used to it. Seems like everything we play lately crashes a lot. <laughs> oh, well. All right, let's, let's uh, jump back in. Oh. Nope, there we go, another one. Uh, we'll just keep sending our reports and logged in to character selection and instantly crash. There we go. Try it again. All right, we had a one minute, now it says we got a four minute, so. We'll be back when there's something to do. 
All right. In theory, if you get to level 20, you unlock some special stuff. Um, that seems to make it a little bit difficult for me to get to at the moment. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what's happening now. We're we going in. There we go. Oh wow, it started us way back. All right. It's like there's a day-night cycle, independent of the zone, right? I mean, so. Um, so anyway, we had a couple crashes there, but we're back. Uh, again, I don't... It does appear to be a day-night cycle. Um, Swift Hunter. 415. Okay, well, apparently we killed enough of something. Um, we are still full of stuff. Uh, it's a little annoying because I don't think I got the item I wanted. So maybe let's go ahead and drop a few items here that don't cost much and see if we can do so without crashing the game. Uh, drop. I need to hold it, it looks like. I'm just looking for the really cheap stuff. You know, the sub 10 gold, right? We'll dump that stuff. I think we got a lot of that stuff. That's okay. All right. Let's set up our direction and see if we can get back to where we were before. It, it doesn't appear that I'm losing XP when this happens, right? It, it does look like... Uh, Oh, I can throw those. All right. So that, that impale item, it actually does throw them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use a potion. Like I said, they give us enough of them. Let's come up here and see if we can reloot this section. Uh, again, I don't know about the crafting stuff. Uh, so I'm not 100% sure on that. But yeah, it seems like every time we do this, we are we are still getting the loot. So what do we get this time? Is it better? No. Uh, hold on, let's go and let's do a quick uh, sort there. Yeah, so we got our 20 oblongs or whatever they, they are. Um, it looks like we got a couple different currencies down there. I'm going to roll down here because I just, I think there's some more crafting stuff. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I just want the, the, the ore, really, is all I'm looking for on that. I just thought I remembered some being there, and, and there was. We'll get a little bit of extra gold, and we'll run back north, and we'll, we'll get, try to get back to where we were. And off we go into the wild blue yonder, and that was back in there. Yeah, okay. So that's the area we need to go, but we're going to go back to where we were. Oh, was there one back there? Looks like he summoned one more before I moved on. All right. Yeah, so I want to come back here and see. I don't think we're going to get any of that loot we left back there. But uh, I'm going to roll back there anyway, just in case. Oh, I left some gold. Don't want to do that. Better short sword? Yeah, actually quite a bit better. Obviously, we're not doing any crowd control, but... Um, I 
Got some iron. That last time we actually got some silver with it, so we'll have to see. There's clearly different kind of qualities or levels that are dropping from the same nodes. You know, you're gonna have to do a little grinding, that's fine. Oh, leather doublet, better than what we have. Let's see. Uh, yeah, quite a bit better. Getting better with my uh, controls there. I think I picked up some loot that I didn't need, but that's okay. All right, so last time we had the caravan challenge here. This time it did not pop. We also didn't get the gear back that we wanted, but that's okay. There we got some silver ore, some iron and some silver. I'm falling in here. Oh, hold on. I guess that white dot is just him. I saw a white dot on the map and I was making sure I wasn't missing anything. Good? No. Nope, not so much. And yes, we did pick up another white item, but that's okay. There we go. We're down a potion. I'm gonna have to find another one, it looks like. Interesting little, interesting little area up here. We got our potion back, huh? It's blocked. We should clear out when the storm has passed. Well, we've, we've seen that a couple times. Well, I have, you haven't, because, uh... Oh, makeshift bow. Okay, let's... Better than the bow I have. I haven't really been using any range stuff, so... Um, so yeah, more damage per second. I wonder if this is better. So this one does 2% core skill damage. That probably helps everything, you know, my base attack stuff. Huh. Oh, well, that's okay. Uh, I'm going to... Oh, you're actually not complete garbage, so we'll, we'll just tag you to throw away. All right, we'll run back down here. Grab a few more items, kill a few more things. Oops. Anything up here at the end of this little deal? I know I said I wasn't gonna do too much exploring, but I just, I can't help myself, I'm sorry. It is in my DNA. I got a thing from Ancestry, they're like, DNA hint, you explore everything in video games. Is that it? Promise. Uh, yeah, we may as well go down here. Man, he's nasty. I'm gonna use a potion, I'm gonna grab this. Grab that bow or not, grab that bow, there we go. Hey, champions no more. There we go. One through three. Oh, he's got something to say. Let's see. What is this statue? The angel in Arius. I'm sure you heard the cathedral of light bubbling around that holy father. Well, he's real. An angel walks among us. Hmm. And when he learns that Lilith is here, blood will flow. They are ancient enemies. They'll drag the whole damn world into their feud unless we can stop it. Well, which side are we? Yeah. Lies just ahead. I mean, the question is, which side do we want to be on? All right, let's interact. Oh, we can. Okay. Badly marred by claw marks. May something light a faith in Arius. Down upon all, yada, 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 yada. Okay. Get into town. See if we can get some crafting and stuff going on. Supposed to go here. All right. Paul, to enter the city, you must. We have no time for this. Ugh. 
To enter Kiyobusha, you must perform a cleansing ritual. It's a meaningless gesture, but some people take comfort in it. Oh, I wonder if we're capable of taking oh, that cleansing. You. Just let him through, lad. I've tried for years to get Lorath to do the ritual. Fine, but this one stays. I'll meet you inside. Take a piece of holy cedar wood from the shrine and inscribe it with the sin which troubles you. Oh. Then cast it into the brazier. As the fire burns the wood, so too will the huh. light. I wonder if this is going to be a portent mechanic or just a storyline type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so take a tablet. Fear, anger, pride. Oh. We'll go with greed, since I was on there. And since I've been chasing around, grabbing all the loot. Okay. Good. You must feel as though a great weight has been lifted from you. Welcome to Kyoto. Yeah, but it's the weight of my my wallet. <laughs> hey, we got a level. All right. Uh, I'm gonna wait for all this stuff to pop up here. We got some XP and some more money. Interesting that getting rid of greed paid us. Not sure that does what it's supposed to do then. Stats and materials. Huh, hold on. I haven't noticed this before. Let's go left. Oh, okay, here we go. So there's our gold, our obols. We don't have any red dust yet, whatever that is. All right, so obols is used to purchase items from the Purvey of Curiosities or from random events in Sanctuary. Uh, used to purchase items from PvP vendors. I'm not going to be doing that, probably. So that's probably going to be something we're not going to... Uh, you're not going to see much here. We've got our level. We've got all our stats. Very nice. Range, dual weapon. Okay, critical strike base. Nice. Okay, all that stuff seems to be familiar for, for what we've seen in the past. Whoops, hold on, that's not what I wanted. I want to go here, and then I want to go right trigger. Uh, here's our here's our craftables. So we've got Gallowine, Angel Breath. Okay, what does it say Gallowine is for? Does it tell us? Uh, potions, elixirs, and this is probably our base item, right? And then everything kind of goes up over that. Okay, we've got iron, we've got silver. We've got some various leathers. We did get a demon heart earlier. Okay. All right, uh, anything else we got down here? Is this bow better than what we have? Uh, slightly. Again, more core skill damage, so we'll go with that. Uh, I assume we're going to be able to sell stuff, so I'm just kind of quicking through, going through. I don't see anything else there that looks important. In we go. Uh, I do have a green halo on. We could probably turn that off. I thought it might be easier to see, but... I don't know, I haven't decided if it's distracting or cool. Priority quest, introduce or unlock new features and systems. I wonder if that means uh, like crafting. Oh wait, it says to just hold that to view challenges, but I don't, oh, maybe here? Ah, oh, there's our journal. I couldn't figure this out earlier. So now we know, okay. So we use the, the uh, D-pad to open this up. So we've got our regular prologue, right? Uh, whoops, hold on. Uh, trigger. We've got our campaign. Our priority quest is unlocking. Okay. Uh, we can reset dungeons if we want. Interesting. Okay, I still don't see challenges yet. Uh, there we go. Challenges. Uh, 1%, first of many, but it doesn't tell me what it is. Ah, then when we click on it, we can get in here. Okay. All right, so we did first amendment. We entered Kibavsha during open beta early access. We claimed an altar of Lilith. Um, we could reach 50 and stuff. Okay, interesting. We're a rogue. We'll reach level 50, Paragon 2. Okay, 30 enemies killed from... Oh, ranged attacks. Well, I'm not running ranged attacks, so that's... That's going to be difficult for me at the moment. 
Kill 25 enemies in melee range, okay. In dungeons, all right. Oops, hold on. I still want to look at those. Have I done anything else? Open world, I've got a couple. Claimed an altar. Is it sanctuaries? Uh, feats of strength. Huh. All right. Well, we finally figured it out. Um, now, what were we supposed to be looking at here? What is... Uh... Oh, hold on. Ah, I'm getting my right bumper and my uh, right triggers confused here. All right, so... Travel to the waypoint to unlock it. Uh, okay. So, quick... All right, so we'll come... So we'll go do that first, and then we'll come talk to that guy next. Like we gotta go up here. There we go. Okay, so now we can do some fast travel action. I like the town so far. Uh, it's fairly large. It feels more to me like, uh, you know, kind of a Final Fantasy sized town than a uh, Diablo sized town, you know, which is, I think, just generally, you know, a couple little things. I don't know. It just seems like it's a bigger city than they used to be. Um, Sanctuaries allow fast travel, all right. You can earn renown by completing various activities across the continent. And, uh, gain renown uh, will grant rewards. All right. Oh, and I have a level at some point. Um, we got another passive over here. Critically striking grants 5% movement speed. I'm not as worried about that. Um, now we've unlocked a little bit of that. We've unlocked a little bit of that. I think I'm going to... Hmm. We're not quite down to there yet. I'm trying to decide if I just want the extra damage when in the return or just boost the regular impact and piercing damage in the first place. That's imbuable, it says. Hmm. It's core, right? So that item that said it boosts our core damage gives us bonus to that. I kind of like to get to some of this. Let's, let's go ahead and we'll just work our way up there. So are we down to there yet? Looks like next time we can get agility skills. Okay. So, what did you write on that piece of wood? Something about greed or gluttony, perhaps? Yep. Well, it matters little, I suppose. I wonder if it changes based on what you do put on there. I'm off to the dry steps in search of that pale man from your vision. I must know what part he plays in all this. But first, I need you to retrieve something of mine while I finish my negotiations. A merchant in the center of the city has it. Just tell him I sent you. All right. Oh. Can we buy a horse? We can get mounts. Although I don't have one now, but uh, I should have known that because that is one of the bonuses of... Uh, the pre-order, uh, or the special edition, whatever. Um, my package gave me some extra, gave me a mount and a barding, I believe. Uh, Lorath sent me. Ah, so the old man's finally decided to buy it back. Oh, to buy it back. Knowing him, he didn't mention coin, did he? No, he did not. <laughs> if he wants his weapon, you will need to pay. All right, well, we've got a weapon guy here. We want to sell stuff. I'm going to start by going over here and selling everything. Uh, is there like a way to just sell all trash? I would think so. Ah, there we go. Sell all junk. Now, is this... I'm just going to sell all this, I think. Anything else? It's got a little thing on there, so I assume that means it's salvageable, or I haven't salvaged it yet, but I don't, I don't know how to yet. And honestly, I don't care at this point. None of these were a look I care about maintaining for the rest of my gameplay. Oh, I just noticed that we have two daggers. Okay, well, we'll have to pay attention to that, because I'm not sure if I had the best ones equipped, but that's okay. Fair trade. All right, so, Loras Polearm. Sold me this too. 
Said he didn't need it anymore, but I think he'd want it back all the same. No charge. Hmm. Oops. Um, let's take a look, see if that's under quest. There's his pole arm. He didn't tell me what else he gave me, though. Hmm. I don't see anything else. All right. Well, it is what it is. Ah, there we go. Salvage item by quality, by junk, by common, by magic, by rare. All right. Well, we could have done that. We'll do that next time. And the game crashed on me again. <laughs> well, let's let's try one more time here. I kind of like to finish this last little section before we before we end this episode. All right, we're back. Looks like it gave us the item, so we don't have to restart from there. So, what did you write on that piece of wood? Something about greed or... Oh, maybe it didn't give it to us. Well, it matters little, I suppose. I'm off to the dry steps in search of that pale man from your vision. I must know at first. I... Crack twos. Interesting. So we'll see. It, did it sell all our stuff? This poor thing is practically grow bait. Oops. With what you're paying, you're lucky she has four legs. But it didn't give us a, uh... It didn't give us our quest item. It, it, it sold all our stuff, but we didn't keep our item, which is interesting. Ah, so knowing if he wants it. All right, so we'll grab that. Oh, it's only 20. Okay, that's fine. Wait. The old man sold me this, too. A strange he, he didn't need it anymore, but I think he'd want it back all the same. All right, well, we figured that out this time. We'll grab the, uh... We'll grab the strange amulet. Uh, we'll come over here. Uh, an old amulet, unique design, shows wear from years of use, perhaps a badge of office. Cannot salvage. Okay. We're going to finish this little bit here. I'm starving. I need some lunch, too. That's the other issue. Had to pay for your weapon. Uh, apologies. He also gave me this amulet. What is it? The mark of the Haradrim. Oh. An ancient order of scholars and mages. Sworn to protect sanctuary from demons. These days, we are few in number. There is another Haradrim. Donna. His breadth of knowledge about demons is equal only to his hubris. Sounds like he could help us. Hmm. You should seek him out in Skosglan. But don't forget about the cathedral. They'll be expecting you, and they might prove to be useful allies too. You're not coming with me. I'm going to the dry steps to find out who that pale man is. Join me when you can, just... Be careful. Your ties to Lilith, the visions you see, you are the key to finding her and stopping whatever she has planned. Sometimes our paths in life are set to collide. We just don't know it. Whether it is by accident or fate's hand, there is nothing we can do about it. The wanderer lost in the storm, fed the blood of Lilith, saved by a lone monk. Different lives and incidents drawn together. By what? Destiny? Or some greater power pulling the strings? I did not know. But at the time, I thought I had the chance to protect humanity from the daughter of hatred. The Wanderer's connection to her gave me hope. <laughs> Imagine that.
Thank you for watching, my friends. As always, thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thank you to all our channel members. I will see you next time. Cheers.